When collectors consult published colonial coinage references, they see the name Long Island Collection or Long Island Specialist mentioned in pedigree records. That Long Island Specialist is Mr. Donald Groves Partrick, who began his collecting journey in the 1960s. Over the last half century, Don Partrick has assembled an extraordinary cabinet of colonial coins, along with an outstanding collection of 1792 pattern coins, Confederate coinage, and other items. Heritage is pleased to offer part one of the Partrick collection in our January 2015 fun auction. Future selections from the Partrick collection will be offered at the 2015 ANA sale, the 2016 fun sale, and the 2016 ANA sale. Nearly every item in part one of the Partridge collection would rank as a highlight in any other sale. This auction begins with an unprecedented offering of 12 different 1792 pattern coins. The previous record of nine different 1792 patterns occurred twice at the 1890 sale of the Parmalee collection and at the 1981 sale of the Garrett Collection. Those 1792 pattern coins include lot 5504, an NGC certified MS65 star red and brown bird scent, Judd 4, with lovely original orange mint color and proof-like surfaces. Equally as important is lot 5511, the 1792 right quarter in copper graded MS-63 Brown NGC. There are only two examples of this rarity known today, and the other piece, estimated to grade AU, is housed in the collection of the Smithsonian Institution. Following the 1792 patterns, the offering continues with 105 different Massachusetts silver coins, including six NE shillings and five willow tree pieces. Oak tree and pine tree silver include multiple mint state examples, such as lot 5550, a 1652 Noe 22 oak tree sixpence that is NGC certified MS 66 star. More than 50 lots of pine tree silver begin with lot 5565, a 1652 Noe 1 shilling that NGC grades MS 65 plus. Nearly half of the pine tree coins, 25 examples, grade mint state. The appearance of a single Maryland Lord Baltimore coin in an auction would be a highlight of that sale. Among the 11 Lord Baltimore coins to be offered is lot 5618, the famous denarium or penny that NGC grades MS62 Brown. The next lot, 5619, offers the finest known Lord Baltimore groat, or fourpence, graded MS62 NGC. A remarkable offering of seven, Higley Coppers concludes with lot 5637, the famous and unique wheel goes round copper that last appeared in the 1983 John Roper collection. Five examples of the extremely rare Confederatio coppers follow the Higley offering. Among those pieces is lot 5639, the unique 1785 Inimica Tyrannus America piece in silver. Immune Columbia and Immunus Columbia coppers are next, including lot 5651, the finest of four known 1787 wide planchet Immunus Columbia coppers that NGC grades MS64 Brown. Among six, John Chalmers' silver pieces from Annapolis, Maryland is lot 5659, the finest of five known rings shillings. Lot 5672 in the Partridge Collection is the famous and unique 1776 Janus Copper that NGC grades very fine 35. More than 60 Massachusetts coppers include multiple mint state pieces. Among those is the gem 1787 transposed arrow scent, appearing as lot 5697 and NGC graded MS65 brown. An extraordinary offering, 
of 12 continental dollars appears after the Vermont coppers. Highlights include lot 5834, the finest of three known brass dotted rings dollars. Lots 5838 and 5841 offer two of the four known continental dollars in silver. The Newman 5D Floriated Cross Continental Dollar appears as lot 5845. NGC graded AU58, this piece is the finest of three known. A compact offering of Confederate coinage begins with lot 5847, one of just four known original Confederate half dollars. Collectors have been waiting for years, often decades, to vie for these amazing coins from the Donald Groves Partridge Collection. Many of today's collectors have never before had an opportunity to bid on these coins, and upon the conclusion of this sale, may never again have such an opportunity. We hope that you will all attend the 2015 Fun Show, examine the coins in person, and attend a landmark event that will be discussed for decades to come.